I blew a guy at my cousin's wedding party. Just so you can picture me. I'm British of Punjabi descent and I have long black hair and brown eyes. I'm fairly curvy, but a little top heavy with 30 to 60 chest. I tend to get compliments on my lips, chest, and hair. I went to my cousin's wedding last year and I wore this really expensive fishtail lehenga and a matching embroidered crop top style blouse, which was pretty low cut. I put a lot of effort into my hair and makeup and it was probably the prettiest I've ever looked felt. During the evening, I'd been talking to this guy after a few drinks and we really hit it off. I thought he was really cute and really funny and he was tall from the same background, etc. We really hit it off fast and he asked if I wanted to take a walk with him and find somewhere quieter. It was a really busy atmosphere with lots going on and I figured it'd be pretty easy to go unnoticed for a little while. So agreed, thinking at most maybe we'd make out. The venue was really huge, but we managed to find a quiet back room. He kissed me a little bit and then he stopped and pushed me down on my knees in front of him, which was kind of hard in that skirt, but I did it. The whole combination of it being kind of public and at a family wedding where I could get caught and with a guy I barely knew who just assumed I'd be down to blow him seriously turned me on. He took his bigger than expected cock out and rubbed it across my lips, which annoyed me a bit, BC. I put a lot of effort into my makeup, but whatever, it was easy enough to fix. He was really into it and it was really hot looking up and seeing him smirk at me while he used my mouth and throat. I'm not sure exactly how long it lasted, but he suddenly, and without warning, pulled out and drained his balls all over my face. It was a huge load and it was pretty much everywhere. Some in my hair and over one of my false lashes, a lot all over my nose, cheek and mouth, dripping down my chin onto my chest and staining my top. I was kind of in shock, BC. I actually had to take part in quite a few of the events a little later in the evening. So there was a lot I'd need to be seen for. Before I could even react, he just zipped up and left. Without a word. I know it wasn't the nicest thing for a guy to do, but that's what made it so fugging hot. I had to wipe off some of the cum as best I could with my hands. BC, I didn't even have a tissue or anything. I got out of there with my head down and made a beeline for my handbag as fast as I could in that outfit. Pretty hard to do in a fishtail lehenga. I was praying. No one bumped into me, especially not family, and I tried to fix my face to look at least kind of presentable in a bathroom stall with my handheld mirror and the few bits of makeup I had with me. But it honestly looked so terrible after. I was so anxious that guy was going to tell people and the whole thing would get back to someone I know. If you know Indian weddings, pretty much every Indian person you ever met attends. As far as I know, he didn't, but he was smiling at me the whole night and I had to take a lot of photos after looking like a total mess. I've kept a lot of my kinks away from my real life and only really indulged with strangers and this was the closest I've ever been to both sides of my life coming together in the most embarrassingly hot way.